Real Agriculture's coverage of Agritechnica 2019 is brought to you by Bravant. Seed. Yield. Easy. Sean Haney here with Real Agriculture. We're at Agritechnica 2019 in Hanover, Germany. Brought to you by Bravant, and we're in the Vatterstad booth, and we're talking to Lars Thailand. Hey, Lars, how's it going? Fine, thank you. Hey, great to chat with you. Okay, so we've been looking at the Temple Planter here. We just talked about the power chute, and now we're looking at this single fill system, basically where you put the seed into one uh, hopper on the machine, and it feeds all the different row units. Tell us about it. Yes, it's our new system for pressurized seed meters, where we have a central fill function, function for all seeds, including small seeds like canola, sugar beets, but also normal seeds like corn, soya beans, cotton, sorghum, and so on. Okay, so how does it work? How do, you, how do you make sure you're getting enough seed to all the different row units? We use different pressures, of course. We use a high pressure in the central tank, seven kilopascal, and then a lower pressure in the seed meter. What you should notice is, on this micro hopper, we use the air both from a seed meter and from a central system reusing the pressure from a central field. Thereby we reduce the energy consumption of the machine. Okay, so are you incorporating some of the technology and what you know about uh, with more of your uh, your air drill systems that you have to incorporate it here or is it working the other way? No, uh, this is an own system, completely own. And uh, it's quite fun for us, I mentioned it before, Sweden, we are not a planter country. So for us, everything needs to be developed by ourselves. We have no background with maize, no background with corn or soya beans or whatsoever. Yeah. So we have to learn a lot of new crops. Yeah. How big is the, uh, the central fill tank? Here it's 3,000 liter or 100 bushels. Okay, is that the largest one? At the moment it's the largest one. Okay, so how many bags of corn would go into, do you know that off the top of your head? I'm not very good at math. It's about 250 acres. Oh, okay, well, that's, that's a pretty good size. Okay, so how long has this been in the market? No time at all. We only had uh, prototypes in Canada before. Okay. And uh, next spring we will run, I think, six machines in Canada, some in Ontario, Quebec, and also in Saskatchewan and Manitoba. Okay. Do you have any, any of these systems in the U.S. at all? No, not today. Okay. We have a temple planter in the U.S., but not the central field. And, and what's been the feedback from the farmers that did use it in the field and, and test, did some testing? Uh, he want to buy it. Yeah. So I think that's a good reply. Well, that's as good as it gets, really. <laughs> so how about at the show here? What have people been saying about it? It's an impressive show at Agatechnica. A lot of customers and a great interest. Yeah. It's, it's fun and interesting to see. Well, I, I imagine there's a lot of farmers that look at the central fill system and they're like, that's going to save me some time when I'm stopped at the edge of the field and I've got to reload and make sure I'm uh, ready to go for you know, a couple more hours in the day. Uh, being able to just load those bags into one spot makes a big difference. Yes, it does. But in Europe, we don't have a history with big bags for seeds. So most farmers in Europe, they use for small bags. But uh, this trend is coming now because we are short of manpower too in farms, just like in North America. Same challenges, just different scale. Yeah. Yes, yeah. Uh, but actually the scale is more or less the same. S if you, as soon as we're in Eastern Europe, the farms are quite impressive size. Uh, very large, larger than North America for sure. Hey, Lars, thanks a lot. I really appreciate it. And good luck with the rest of the show. Thank you very much, sir.